This is probably the very last Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 EPTU patch update you'll ever see. CIG has intention of dropping Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 today. I suspect probably around the same time when ISC drops. With this last update, they made a few changes, especially graphical changes, which is going to impact some of us. Uh, so let's get straight into the patch notes here. On the core tech, it says GPU memory usage, performance, and upscaling. It says with today's build, we have introduced multiple GPU memory savings. However, there is currently a known issue where Star Citizen can over allocate your GPU memory which can sometimes lead to performance loss. This is particularly the case if you have a GPU with less VRAM, like four gigs, run at a higher resolution or graphics settings, or using Vulkan. Currently, DirectX 11 handles this over allocation more gracefully. We are working to remedy this, however, for now, if players suffer performance loss at high resolution or low VRAM GPU, they can check their VRAM usage to see if their card is maxed out. Example, using your task manager or your favorite GPU monitoring app. And considering lower resolution, quality, or water simulation settings from the graphics menu. For a 4 gig GPU, we recommend 1920 by 1080, medium quality and very low water simulation while running no other GPU intensive applications. Upscale can also help reduce more usage by about 10% at 1080p or 25% at 2160p. Running at 2160p without upscaling requires an extra 2 gigs of VRAM, so should be reserved for cards with at least 6 gigs, ideally 8 gigs. In a future release, we plan to reduce the memory usage, but to also change the graphical menu to limit the available settings based on your GPU's available memory. As an additional note, we have removed the prior builds, restricting on upscaling at lower resolution now that the ui has been fixed to render at full resolution in addition to this they also did further client server performance optimization further network performance optimizations and world and biome streaming performance improvements so as of late the past few patches for 3.23 has been performance focused as they are prepping for a live release. Like I said, they do intend to drop this thing today as you're watching this video, which is going to be Thursday. I'm suspecting the same time as ISC. Let's see if they actually do it. There's a few bug fixes with this one as well. They fix an issue where quick buy fails to award players the entity they have purchased, but debits the player's wallet. They also fix an issue where mining UI has a variety of defects obstructing gameplay. They fix another issue where server speakings cannot be created. They also fix another issue regarding DLSS. Under any upscaling option, ship HUD clarity is significantly affected when quantum HUD is displayed. I have noticed this. I'm glad that they have fixed that. When pressing the left bracket to accept a contract, players are taken to a blank contract manager page so that's been fixed they also fix an issue where the Shibisa center is missing collision in the lounge they fix another issue where comma ray hacking mission can be accepted multiple times and pay out for every contract accepted upon completion that's a nice bug so that's been fixed and they also fix an issue where non-combatant NPCs do not behave correctly in combat. Along with this is four client crashes, four server crashes. Just to let y'all know, my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find my Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.